I'm so impressed with Hong Kong. They're now the poster child for pro-democracy demonstrations, and the umbrella-wielding protesters have shown no sign of letting up. Speaking of umbrellas... Can you fix this? Wow! The fact is, umbrellas alone aren't enough to stand up to China, which is why activists like Alvin Yang and Joshua Wang have been lobbying Congress to pass legislation that would help Hong Kongers hold China accountable for their actions. Okay, this is a photograph of you with Marco Rubio, and you look happy. Please explain. He's the one invite me to join the Congress hearing, and also the one introduced the Hong Kong Human Rights and Democracy Act. Marco Rubio did something that I like. Every day holds the possibility of a new miracle. That's right, both the House and the Senate agreed to pass legislation protecting democracy. Unfortunately, it wasn't our democracy. Can you explain the Hong Kong Human Rights and Democracy Bill to me? It's a piece of legislation that the U.S. could recommend a list of individuals who might have violated human rights in Hong Kong. Okay. And those people have to face sanction by the U.S. government. So it's a law that holds China accountable by allowing the U.S. to sanction individuals who have committed human rights violations in Hong Kong. Still not following? Here's Joshua putting it in terms that the average American can understand. If we need to defeat the Darth Vader, we need to train more Jedi. Nice. And we will, as presidents, authorize the power to decide which Darth Vader will be punished and sanctioned to face the penalty. I just feel like people are really going to understand this now. OK, so the outcome of sanctions is in the, the tiny, tiny hands of our current president? Well, in the office of the president, so it could be any president. Oh, it could be any president. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see what you did there. No, no, I'm not saying anything. No, I don't think uh, I'm not either. Implying I'm not anything. implying that there could be a different one sometime real Eventually. soon. Eventually. Which one do you think it's going to be? In the Democratic Party primary yeah. election, we recognize yeah. how Elizabeth Warren signed on the Hong Kong Human Rights and Democracy Act. Another politician is the mayor. Oh, uh-huh. Uh, how do you pronounce his name? Uh, no one knows. The only thing more surprising than hearing Hong Kongers talk about Mayor Batagag is their love for the stars and stripes. And it gets weirder. I really appreciate talking to all of you. Really appreciate that you're here. I see that you are really going for a look. And I am cool with it, I swear. But I will say that most people, if they saw you like this, would run screaming into the forest and not come back for like three to 10 days. First of all, Sam Martha B, I have to disagree with you. I think such look of ours are not scary at all. Agree to disagree. Do you like Donald Trump or are you just using him for good? Actually, President Donald Trump is the number one people in the world that can stand against China. Therefore, we try to raise the name of President Trump to help us. That's why we try to use all kinds of tactics, including this one. You guys need more mega gear if you want to make an impact. Good thing I stole a box of mega gear off the back of a truck fresh from Beijing. I got a whole bunch. Keep them a boobs warm. <laughs> Here's one for you. Yeah, good. Thank you very much. Send my puppy. This place is bananas. Here, Trump is like Nelson Mandela and Luke Skywalker rolled into one righteous freedom fighter. But will he deliver? No, 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 no. no. We hope that uh, the United States and the international community uh, could still uphold uh, the law and could take actions when necessary. You need us to do stuff? I thought it was just like, mm -mm 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 -mm. No. and then... We are definitely, probably, 100% going to let these protesters down. But for a brief and beautiful moment, we are on the right side of history. It feels to me like America is moving closer to losing our democracy any day. Do you have any tips for us? Lots of young generation, uh -huh. uh, they might have lots of hesitations. Oh, yes. Hey, you are just choosing the lesser evil one. Sometimes someone takes their bus and they deck it out and they call it the No Malarkey Express. But if that person is the candidate, you should still vote for them. Even if it feels weird and not great. Yeah, get your point. What do you say to American citizens who don't want to exercise their right to vote, 
I think every American should treasure your freedom and vote. You're the first man in a MAGA hat that I've ever agreed with. <laughs> Thank you. I don't like it when I agree with Donald Trump, but here we are. Hong Kong has changed me. For the first time in years, I'm feeling the heartbeat of democracy, the passion of civic engagement, and the, oh, God, Pepe, are you kidding me? Fine, Hong Kong Pepe says vote while you still can. I hate myself.